Hey guys, Henry here, and today I'm going to be giving characters from Overwatch Pokemon types based on their gameplay reasons, personality reasons, or design reasons. Now, why am I doing this? I don't know. Sounds fun. I'm going to be going through the roster of Overwatch characters by their roles. So I'm going to be starting with tank, then damage, then support. So let's start off with the first character, that being D.Va. Oh yeah, before I talk about D.Va first, I need to mention something. Usually Pokemon types are what they say they are. So fire types usually relate to fire. Electric types are usually related to electricity and rock being rocks. But usually there are some types that mean other things than just what they say they are. For instance, the dark type is a good example. Dark type means not just pure darkness or the idea of darkness energy, I guess. But also being mysterious, being untrustworthy, being malicious, being evil, or any other of those which I'll explain when I'm talking about the types to give to Overwatch characters. Oh, and also, I'm going to be giving only two types to the Overwatch characters, like if they were actual Pokemon. Anyway, back to D.Va. D.Va could be Steel type mainly because she uses a mech. That's probably the best reason to give her the Steel type. But the second type, I'm thinking of two. One, the Flying type. Reason why is that she can fly. That's one of her main abilities to boost up and fly for a short period of time. Which is a good type to give her, but I need something more. If she had another ability which was related to her flying, then yeah, 100%, give her the flying type. But it's only one ability, it's not even her primary fire or even an ultimate. So I'm going to be giving her something else, which is the fairy type. Mainly because she's pink. Honestly, I don't really have a lot of good types to give her, but the fairy type works because she's pink and Pokemon is still riding on this whole thing of fairy types are pink and girly, which doesn't really help that it's more like a magic type. So there you go, still fairy. Oh yeah, and also she has the same type combo as Tinker Tongue, which is another small pink little girl that uses a giant steel weapon like D.Va. Next up is the leader of talent, Doomfist. Now I did think of two types to give to D.Va, I have four for Doomfist. And it does make this a bit harder considering that all these types really fit Doomfist. Let's start with the first one, Dark. The Dark type makes sense, he's the leader of talent, uh, like an evil organisation, he's, he's a bad guy, like it makes sense obviously. The next type is the fighting type. Before I watched 2, he was a damage hero, and more specifically, he was more of a combo wheeler, if that makes sense. His main way of doing combos is to slam on the ground, do an uppercut, and then punch with the Doomfist gauntlet. That was the main thing you would do with Doomfist before Overwatch 2, which when they made him into a tank role and got rid of his uppercut with a block ability. So yeah, the fighting type makes sense. The next type is the steel type. It makes sense considering that not just because of the gauntlet, I know what you're going to say, but also because of his main primary fire, aka his hand cannon. The hand cannon is like a shotgun like weapon, but it's his hand? Which if you think about it, is that he's literally shooting out bullets from his hand. Literal metal coming out of his hand. I think that's a good enough reason to give him the steel type. And the final type is the electric type. If this was Overwatch 1 Doomfist, I would say no. Mainly because there isn't really that much of electricity power he uses. I know that, you know, when he slams or he does an uppercut, there's electricity coming out. But I need a, a bit more a reason to give it to him then. But luckily, Overwatch 2 gave me that. We've given him the power block. Power block not only protects himself from incoming damage, but also empowers his gauntlet to be overcharged, which at that point can empower his rocket punch ability. He can also get this after he uses his ult as well. And I mean, look at it, there's electricity bursting out. And I just think that's a good enough reason for now to give him the electric type. But out of these four types, I still really don't know which type I'm going to give him. 
all of them, maybe aside from Steel, are very good and would make sense for him. That's where I throw off to you guys. What type would you give him? Would you give him Electric Dark, Steel Fighting? Let me know in the comments. But the two types I'm going to give him is Electric and Fighting. Mainly because of the idea of Electric is like Overwatch 2 Doomfist and the fighting type is more of Overwatch 1 Doomfist, gameplay wise. And Electric Fighting, that's a cool type combo. So there you go, Doomfist is an Electric Fighting type. Next up is the King, or should I say the Queen of the Junkers, uh, junk, Junker Queen. Now similar to Doomfist, I have four for her. But mainly three, actually. Well, also mainly two. But I'll get. To, I'll talk about the third one, which is the fighting type. Mainly because she's kind of similar to Overwatch One Doomfist with her combo wise. I mean, she throws the knife, brings it back, and then uses the axe to swing at people. That's a good combo. But that's not really a good enough reason to give her the fighting type. So I'm going to give her the electric and steel type and the main reason for that is her magnetism powers now the reason why she could throw her knife and bring it back is because of her magnetism she has a little gauntlet on her left side which is just a magnet which you can also see in her animated shorts as well as that her ultimate is also related to her magnetism now when you look at it it doesn't really look like it at first but i have a theory the game theory Rest in peace, Matt Pat, we will miss you. And that is when she uses her ult, she's pretty much pulling in metal around her to form her axe. And she's doing that with her magnet. So electric steel makes sense. She's using some sort of metal with electricity as magnets. Another reason why I think we would be fit with her is because she has the same type combo as the Magnemite line which are actual magnets. I think that's a good enough reason to give her electric and steel. Next up is the newest hero on the block, Malga. Now because of how new Malga is, I don't really have that many ideas, but I do have two types that I think would work with him. First up is the fire type, mainly because of his secondary fire literally puts people ablaze. You could say when he's charging at people with, with his charge ability, he's setting ablaze because how fast he is. So fire works as well as his colours, he's got a lot of oranges on his body which fits with the aesthetic of fire types. But the second type is the dark type. Now I know the dark type would fit doom fist but because i liked the electric fine type more i'm going to be giving the dark type to malga and i mean malga is so evil the guy enjoys murder like not like he needs to do it like i would say doom fist would no he just enjoys murdering people he's a cold-blooded murderer i think that's a good enough reason to give him the dark type because of how evil he is and I mean, he fits the aesthetic. I mean, his smile is just so goddamn menacing. So there you go, Fire Dark for Malga. Next up is the most annoying character to fight in Overwatch 2, Orisa. Now Orisa is a bit of a difficult one because technically there are two versions of Orisa. Overwatch 1 Orisa and Overwatch 2 Orisa. If it was Overwatch 1 Orisa, I would give her the Steel Electric type. Steel because she's a robot. But the electric type is also because of her ultimate which boosts up people's power and i mean like it looks like there's little electricity coming out of it it, it it's little electricity coming out of it but over what tourista is defo fighting type she is so much more aggressive than her counterpart now and i think the fighting type fits well so yeah overwatch one steel electric and overwatch two steel fighting but can we all agree that just can we can we get some nerfs for a research? She's just so annoying to fight. Next up is the big bad of Overwatch 2, Ramatra. Ramatra has an obvious one: steel, because he's a robot. You could also say because he also uses that orb, which looks like there's little chips, uses them as his main attack. But still, he's a robot. And the other type would definitely be dark. He's the main antagonist of Overwatch 2. He's incredibly evil. I think we can give him the dark type. It also fits his aesthetic. I mean, look at him. He looks very dark-like. So there you go, still dark for a Maratra. Next up is the original tank of Overwatch, Reinhardt. Now I've got three for Reinhardt and I think both three would fit him very well. First up is Steel. It's pretty obvious. He has a big, 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 
big armor. He is a fucking giant. The next type, I'm going to give him the fire type. The fire type makes sense. His hammer literally has a rocket attached to it at the back, as well as a rocket at the back of him. I know that's not like him setting ablaze people, but I mean, I, I think there's a good enough reason. Oh yeah, and I just realised he literally uses his one of his main abilities is fire strike. So, yeah. But the other type is probably a better reason to give him, which is the ground type. Ground type because of his main ultimate. His ultimate is literally an earthquake, even though it's called Earth Shatter. It's an earthquake, bro. He literally do he breaks the ground itself. So I think fire ground mainly because I don't want another steel type. We've already just had Arissa and Ramatra, so I'm going to be giving him fire ground. Next up, we have Peppa Pig's number one big fan, Roadhog. Roadhog is a pretty of a hard one to do because he's just kind of fat and that's about it. But I do want to give him the steel type mainly for one reason and I think it's the most important reason only. His main primary weapon, his scrap gun. His scrap gun literally shoots out scrap metal and I think that's a good enough reason to give him the steel type as well as his metal hook I guess. And his ult literally is him spreading bloody scrap metal everywhere. So I mean like I think that's a good enough reason to give him the steel type. I was going to give him a second type but there isn't really another type that fits him. So I think pure steel would fit quite fine with him so there you go pure steel for roadhog bit of a weird one but it fits next up is my main sigma yes i play sigma fuck you sigma's type is pretty obvious he's literally the mascot of the psychic type he's constantly floating he shoots out projectiles with his mind he shoots out rocks with his mind he can lift people up and break the fucking spine with his ultimate if that wasn't enough for you sigma has another reason why he should have the psychic type and that is related to space the main reason is that he's an astrophysicist you know people study space and you know outside of our planet and as well he has literally an ability where he uses a black hole to suck you know projectiles and give him shield and in general he's just related to space and do you know when i was talking about how dark type doesn't just mean like pure darkness but can also mean other things that's the same with psychic psychic can mean a lot of things including space specifically pokemon that are related to space or are literal aliens or don't even come from our planet are psychotype for mainly that reason now if you want another reason the psychotype can also mean intelligence and sigma well mainly before the incident was incredibly intelligent he still is but you know it's a bit um fucked up in the mind so he's not all in there that's why he works for talent because he's just been manipulated without him knowing i do also want to talk about how i've seen other people do this topic before and i've seen them give sigma psychic rock as well and i'm gonna be honest i don't think he deserves rock I don't want to give him the rock type because he only has one ability that uses it and if you know Pokemon you know that not every Pokemon has a move that's related to their type. Like for instance the legendary Pokemon Groudon who is a ground type Pokemon can learn Solar Beam which is a grass type move as well as learning moves like Hammer Arm and Rest which are fighting and psychic types respectively. So not every Pokemon can can learn just their type moves they can learn other moves based on other types and it's not like he's in control of the rocks he's more of using his psychic powers to use the rocks so there you go that was my big big rant of sigma being a psychic type next up is my favorite monkey no not him no not him jesus christ let's get to the point there we go winton I think Winston is a very easy one. I mean, electric makes the most sense. His main primary weapon is his Tesla cannon, aka what our old fans like to call it. 
the tickle gun is shooting out electricity so i think that's a good enough reason to give it but if you still don't like that here's a better example when winston goes into primal rage mode which is his ult when you see around his eyes it's actually electricity coming out you can see that in the animated short and as well as just the game in general i think that's still a good enough reason to give electricity for his second type i think a lot of people would pick fighting which yeah i could i could see that but um, no i think electric fighting fits more with doom fist and that's why i'm not gonna give one to the fighting type the type i'm going to give him as a replacement is the psychic type now winston isn't you know an actual psychic but remember when i was talking about how the psychic type doesn't just mean pure psychicness it could also mean stuff like space and most importantly, for this reason, intelligence. My boy Winton is incredibly intelligent. But he wears glasses, he is smart. But another reason why is that he's an animal that can speak. I think that's a good enough reason. He's a he's a scientist, he's a talking monkey. Come on, that's a good enough reason. Also, I know that he's not a monkey, he's, an, he's a gorilla, but he's an ape. It's, it's just funny, shut the fuck up. So there you go. Electric Psychic for Winton. Next up is my favourite Top Gear host, Hammond. Actually, Hammond isn't actually my favourite, such as James May, but uh, it was just for the joke. I've got a bit of an interesting one for Hammond. Number one, Steel is a pretty obvious one. He's in a giant mech. It's a giant hamster ball with guns. Like, come on now. But another thing I also want to give him is the normal type. Now, the normal type isn't really, it makes no sense, but hear me out, not like that. In the Pokemon community, there is something called a Route 1 Pokemon. Basically, the first routes they do in the foot in the game, there are four main Pokemon that can appear with all that all related to something. There is the Route 1 Bug, the Route 1 Bird, the Route 1 Dog, or some sort of canine, and the Route 1 Mammal, or the Route 1 Normal Type, or the Route 1 Rodent. There's a lot of ones, but originally it was the Route 1 Rodent. And I think it will be fun to, to give Hammond Steel normal. And I know I'm calling him Hammond. I'm not calling him Wrecking Ball. That's such a stupid fucking name. So there you go. Steel normal for Hammond. Finally, we have the final tank, Zarya. Zarya is a bit of a tricky one for me because I definitely have one that I think will fit very well. But then I don't really have a second one to give her. Let's talk about the one I have her for now. The fighting type makes the most sense for her. She's a very strong, very strong woman. She was a professional weightlifter and bodybuilder back before she joined the war. So she's clearly incredibly strong even before she went into combat. So fighting makes so much sense. But I still don't know what to give her for the second one. I was thinking psychic, mainly because the whole space thing and she uses a black hole, but that's a bit of a weak one. I was thinking steel because of her gun, but that still makes no sense. I was even thinking to give her berry because of her pink hair. I seriously do not know what to give her, so please let me know in the comments what other type you would give her with fighting. But as of right now, Azara is a pure fighting type. Alright, we're done with the tanks, now let's get into the damage roll. And we're going to start off with my second favourite cowboy, Ash. Right, off the bat, I know people are going to say fire because of her dynamite. That's one move, we've already went over this with Sigma, so I'm not going to give her fire. But I will give her dark she's a criminal she works in her own like own group that's just a bunch of criminals as well she's just a dick in general i think she deserves the dark type but the second type i don't really know what to give her i mean if it was bob then steel obviously but bob i don't really i don't think i would count bob because he's not the playable character so i think pure dark just fits ash quite well so there we go Next up is the cutest robot in the whole world, Bastion. Bastion is a very stereotypical one. It still just makes the most sense. It's a robot. There isn't that much to talk about. Grass could be interesting, considering he has a skin where he's just covered in moss and just nature entirely. But that's not his actual skin. He's main skin is just a robot so i'm just gonna give him the steel type and just move forward although we could give him the flying type because of his bird but again the bird's not the playable character it's bastion himself so steel works fine next up is my third favorite cowboy 
the Cree. We're already three characters in and I'm already lost. Ground could work because he's related to cowboys, which are related to deserts, which have a lot of sand. So that could work. Maybe, maybe still because he has a literal robotic hand. There isn't that much to give him, but I'm just going to give him the ground type just because of it. Next up is the robot with the massive hips, Echo. Now, when I think Echo, I think blue. Because of that, she's got to be watertight. I, I, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But still, obviously, it makes sense as a robot. But flying fits quite well. I mean, it makes sense, doesn't it? She's always hovering. And I mean, one of her main things is flying. And that's kind of her thing, kind of like with Farah, but we'll get to Farah later. So there you go, still flying for Echo. Next up is the Gengu. Genji is another steel type. I'm sorry, it's just he's he's a cyborg. Okay, give me a break. But he is a hundred percent a dragon type. I mean, come on, his ultimate is Dragon Blade. He sends out an entire fucking dragon. If you see the animation he did, bro, he controls that dragon like an RC car. He's Defo Steel Dragon. Next up is the Gengu's brother, Hanzo. Hanzo is definitely dragon type because he's the same with his brother. But he's got two dragons, so he's more dragon E. But for the second type, I'm going to give him Dark for a couple of reasons. Number one, he's part of an evil organization, aka the Shimada clan, which I think, if I read the law right, is his family's business, pretty much. And they're not really the nicest people in the world, so that's one. Another reason, he is an assassin as well, which I think is a better reason, honestly. He may be a man with a bow and arrow, but he's a pretty good assassin, so the dark type fits quite well with that, actually. So there you go, dark dragon. Next up is the most brain dead character you could play in Overwatch, Junkrat. Junkrat is very easy, he's fire type. He's all about explosions and his original default skin in Overwatch 1, his hair was literally smoking and was ablaze. Like, come on now, that's, that's about it. He's fire type, it makes the most sense. Another one that makes a lot of sense is May being Ice type. It makes so much sense for the character that shoots and his entire thing is she uses ice. Like, come on now. Like, you, you can't argue with this one. Next up is the original flying character, Farah. Now, Farah could fit with the steel flying type as well, but I think Echo makes sense considering that she is a robot, not just someone in armor. So instead, I'm gonna give Farah the fire flying type. Fire because her main primary fire is just a rocket launcher and her ultimate is also just a bunch of missiles going everywhere, which if we could give it to Junkrat, we could give it to Farah as well. So there you go, fire flying for Farah. Next up is the most edgiest character in media history, Reaper. Dark, it just, like, come on. It's like May with ice. It makes sense. But another thing I'm also going to give him is the ghost type. Because he kind of works similar to ghosts. You know what I mean? Like, when he goes into his wraith form, he's literally vulnerable. He can't get killed unless he goes off the map. <laughs> And I mean, if you see the cinematics and stuff, like he's moving around like a ghost, but he is a pretty much a ghost. So because of that, Dark Ghost makes so much sense. So there you go, Dark Ghost for Reaper. Next up is the woman who has the greatest thighs ever. Hey yo, what the fuck? Soljon. Soljon is quite tough to, <laughs> to give. I honestly do not know what to give her. I think fighting fits well, mainly for her being a leader and her being just strong in general, but also kind of the idea of the fighting type is also kind of like the hero type and she is the protector. I mean, like it's the, it's the best I can do. And another type I'm gonna give her is the steel type because because, you know, she's all mechanical. Her legs, arms, everything about her is mechanical. She's barely even human. So it still makes a lot of sense. So still fighting for Soul John. Next up is Daddy himself. Oh! 
Soldier 76. Soldier is a bit of a difficult one to think of. I thought of two, which is dark fighting. Fighting because he he was originally the leader of Overwatch. So I mean you need to you need to be a lot of responsibility for that. And Dark because he's more of a vigilante now than he was before as the Soldier 76. And he's also incredibly aggressive and just not really that nice. But he's still a hero, so that's why he's got the fighting type. He's kind of like an anti-hero, like Red Hood or Moon Knight. You know, he does do good, but he breaks the law because of it. So yeah, dark fighting fits us quite well with him. Next up is the woman that not only can ruin your life but also your internet life, Sombra. Sombra is definitely going to be electric type. I feel like because of the hacking thing, I think electric fits quite well. As well as now she has her new ability called Virus, which, you know, fits quite well. It's kind of like, it's not like an actual virus, but it's more like it's just electrocuting you. I think the electric type fits very well. And that's kind of it. I'm just going to give her the electric type because I don't think there's any other type that fits. I guess Ghost because, you know, she could go visible. But that that's, that's it. She's not really like as ghosty as like Reaper. So, pure electric for Sombra. Another pure electric type I'm also going to give is Symmetra. There isn't really that much to give Symmetra. I think the I think uh, holograms and stuff for being electric makes sense. There's just really isn't that much to give her. Maybe steel, steel could work because uh, like she's got a robotic hand and she uses her turrets. So actually no, so let's give her steel, electric steel for Symmetra. Next up is my favourite dwarf, Tormion. That was a fucking awful impression of him. Jesus Christ. Tormion's another easy one. Fire steel makes so much sense. Steel because, you know, he's the mechanic. He has turrets. I mean, he's all in armour. Like, he is steel type. Similar to why Symmetra is steel type. And fire type makes a lot of sense as well. There is literal higher intros where he eats magma and burps out fire. I know that's just like a joke, but like, there's evidence. <laughs> and of course, you know, he uses his ultimate is molten core and he can overheat himself he's more fire type than any of the other characters we've looked at that have the fire type so there you go fire steel for torbjorn next up is the british one <laughs> Uh, it's, it's, it's Tracer. Tracer is a bit difficult because I'm going to give her the ghost type because of her, you know, experience. Before she became a member of Overwatch, she was a pilot and then some accident happened and then she just pretty much just became a ghost. Constantly going out and into reality all the time. Until she got her Chrono Accelerator, you know, the blue thing on her chest. And now she's she can be normal now. So I think that's a good enough reason to give her the ghost type. I'm also going to give her the electric type. Because the idea of she's so fast that she's dashing like lightning. I think I think that's just a fun type combo. Electric Ghost. The final damage hero is Widowmaker. I've got three types for Widow. Number one is the bug type. Mainly because there is no other hero that's going to have the bug type. Because it's just so specific. Kind of similar to the dragon one. But at least we have like Genji and Hanzo. I think Widow would have to take the bug type. The other types are Poison and Dark. Both of them fit quite well. Dark because she's an assassin, she's cold-blooded, and Poison because of her Venom. But it's a bit of a weak one. I think that would just be similar to like, kind of like the thing we were talking about about Sigma and having the Rock type. So I'm going to make Widow a Bug Dark type. Alright, we're finally done with the damage roll. Now on to the last one. The support role. First up, we have the original guild for Anna. I have a bit of an interesting one for Anna. I think she fits very well with the poison type. I mean, her main primary fire just kind of does that, stops people from healing, which is kind of what poison does to an extent. But like, you get the point, right? She also has her grenade, which also does the exact same thing. So that could also be another reason. But I'm also going to give her the fairy type because the fairy type not only means like, you know, actual fairy fairies and not only like the lights and magic and all that crap but also healing i mean like that that's perfect for majority of the support classes so for anna poison fairy i think that's a good combo next up we have bugs buddy himself Baptiste. I won't lie, Baptiste is the most boring one yet, so I'm pretty much just going to make him normal fairy, just 
so I can make him fair because, you know, he's a healer. But that's really about it. He's just, there's not that much to talk about. So there you go. Normal fairy for Baptiste. Next up, we have the Swedish smaller version of Reinhardt, Brigitte. I think Brigitte is a pretty easy one. Still fighting fits quite well. Still because she's in royal armour and... I mean, look at her armour. She's just... She's packed. She also hits you with a mace to serve like a gun. She has a shield. I think she could be still tight. And fighting because of that whole mace thing. Because of how light she is compared to Reinhardt, I think she deserves the fighting type. So there you go. Still fighting for Brigitte. Next up, we have the second newest hero, Alari. Sorry if I didn't say her name right. I really do not know how to say her actual name. So here's someone saying it instead of me. Iriari. Alari is, is a bit of a tricky one. She's related to somewhat of the sun. So fire type makes sense, right? Well, no. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess we could make a fire type. Sure, yeah, give a fire type. But a second type? I'm going to give a psychic, actually. I just think it fits. Honestly, I have zero idea what to give her because she's so new. I know she's not the newest Malga is, but like, still, I don't even play her. I'll just give a fire psychic and you can judge me in the comments section. Next up is the fox girl, Kiriko. Kiriko is defo easy. Ghost fairy fits so much. Ghost because of her relation to her fox spirit, and that's how like she uses her powers and stuff. And fairy because she's a healer. Not that much to say, ghost fairy. Next up is the man who will steal your wife, Life Weaver. Because of his association with plants, defo grass type, it's just really obvious. And obviously fairy, but I also think the fairy type fits because of the pink aesthetic of his design. Which, obviously, a lot of the fairy types are pink because Game Freak still hasn't, you know, made fairy types. Not just girly, so yeah. Next up, we have the Brazilian Sonic, Lucio. Right, I got a very interesting type combo for him, and that's mainly because I'm only giving him like one type, and that is the normal type. Now, why normal? Well, because in Pokemon, there are certain Pokemon that are normal type, mainly because there is no sound type. And because Lucio is related to sound, because he literally shoots sound at people, normal type will probably be the next best thing. And I'm not giving him the fairy type, mainly because he's not that much of a healer. He's kind of what the role says, a support. He's supports you by making you faster not that much of a healer so pure normal for lucio i think fits quite well next up we have the og healer mercy i think this one is very easy fairy flying makes a lot of sense she is the most fairy like overwatch character in this entire roster and flying because well she's really related to her flight ability you no know, she can hover she can fly two people and she can fly two people and then jump up and then just float and then her ultimate literally makes her fly so that one's pretty easy fairy flying for mercy Next up, we have TikTok's favourite character, Moira. Moira's an interesting one, because definitely dark, 100% dark. Kind of want to give her ghosts as well, but Reaper's already taken that, and it's more fitting with Reaper. So I'm going to give Moira the fairy type, obviously, but because of the difference between Moira's damage and then healing. You know, the purple represents damage, would be dark, and then the yellow, which would represent the healing, which would represent the fairy type. So yeah, I think that fits quite well. So, dark fairy for you, Moira. Finally, we have the final character of the video. That is Zenyatta. And it's another easy one to do. Steel Psychic makes so much sense. He's a monk. That's all I gotta say. He's pure. He's, he's Zen. That's, he's, it's in his name. Zenyatta. And Steel because he's a robot also. So yeah, Steel Psychic for Zenyatta. And that, everybody, was the video. That is every character and all of their types. Please let me know in the comment section if you agreed on any of these. Honestly, I think I did an okay job of this. There are some characters I still don't know if I'm going to change or not. Maybe Soldier On or Soldier 76. I'm still not sure about them. Mainly Soldier On, actually. Or other characters like Cassidy. Anyway, if you did enjoy this video, why don't you consider liking. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe. And if you want to get notified whenever I make a new video, hit the notification bell. Put in the comment section if you would change any of the other types for the heroes.
But anyway, guys, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Ooh.